everyone. As you may see, this is not a cover. Um, I was thinking lately about my channel and um, what people, what you guys might like and I thought, you know what, I love doing covers. Obviously that's priority number one, but I also had this realization where I thought, you know what, I think it's also important that you guys get to know me a little bit better because when I do the covers, you know, you don't really get to know a lot about my personality and um, so yeah, that's basically why I thought about doing this Q&A. So I went to Google and the first website showed me a lot of question ideas. So I thought about answering a couple of those. Um, also, I know it's in the shot, but as you may see, there's this thingy right here. So that, that's, that's a cat. Um, and it says no, but in Dutch, <laughs> question number one, I I'm from Holland, I'm from the Netherlands, um, but that says no because I've tried to watch a little bit less of Netflix. So whenever I turn the television on, there now is a screaming cat piece of paper on my television that says no. I don't know if it, uh, if it, if it works, yeah, I doubt it actually because I still watch a lot of Netflix. Okay, so... How about we get into the video? Uh, I'm just gonna ask myself these questions, I guess. Okay, number one. Do you like coffee? Not really. I like it when I'm at McDonald's and I get the iced frappe. You know, because there's so much sugar in it, you don't even taste the coffee. That's when I like coffee. What is your dream vacation? Um, I actually went to London a couple of um, weeks ago and I loved that. So I think that's that's probably dream vacation. I want to do things. I don't want to like lie on the beach or anything. No. Last movie you watched? That was yesterday. Um, it was the new one on Netflix. <laughs> you see, the cat's not working. It was um, the one where the woman gets um, left at the altar and she gets drunk with her dad. She hasn't seen it in 26 years, and then they decided in their drunkenness to go on a cruise. What sport do you play? I don't really play sport right now. I used to do korfball. <laughs> I don't know what it is in English. I don't even know if it exists in, in other countries. You can kind of compare it to basketball, but it's way more difficult. The teams are mixed, so you have four boys and four girls in a team, so that's fun. So you have to throw a ball into a korf. I don't know if that's if that's even an English word, but it it's not where you put, throw a ball into a basket. This is just on a pole, and then there's like this this thing on, and then you have to throw throw the ball in there. How is your best friend? I have a couple of best friends, and the thing that I love about them is that they are all unique in their own way. They're you know they they can be crazy. They like things that maybe the average person wouldn't like, or they're just themselves. What novels do you read? I like to read romance stories. It's cheesy, I know, but I mean, I really like reading those. What is your favorite pet? I mean, did, did I already mention this, the screaming cat in, on the telly? I love cats. They're just, they're just hilarious. I love it that they're always themselves and uh, <laughs> like my best friends. But I love it that you can't tell a cat what to do, they always do what they want to do, and I love that, that stubbornness, I love that. What TV shows do you like? I like Modern Family, I like New Girl, I like um, Shadowhunters, I think that's my top three right now. Yeah. Worst injury you ever had? Um, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There. That's a scar. I was really young, I don't know, maybe like three or four years old and I was sitting on the couch and I kind of wobbled and then I fell with my head on the table. So this is a scar that I had for oh, forever actually. Are you wearing pants right now? I am... I, I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> like this is, a, this is in the image, in the frame, so this is gonna be like... and then the rest. Talk to animals. Yes, I talk to animals all the time. Are you always impatient? Yes. When I want something, I want it now. Are you always happy? I think so. I think I'm happy a lot, but I mean, sometimes you're not happy. That's, that's normal. Are you a drama queen? I don't know. Do you enjoy watching cartoons or anime? 
movies. I, when I was younger, I watched The Girl with the Braces, which in the Netherlands is called Beugelbecky. <laughs> I don't know, but it was a blonde girl and she had braces. And she, she was called Sharon, I thought. I liked that, and I liked watching the Tofus, um, Totally Spies. I was always Sam. I think that everyone was always Sam, because whenever I talk about Totally Spies, which I mean, it's not on a daily basis, because now it sounds like I am talking about Totally Spies every single day of my life, but no, when I, when I talk about it, everyone is always Sam. Have you ever laughed at the wrong moment? I have the tendency to laugh at very awkward moments. So, we would go into an elevator, like just me and a friend, and we would talk, and then there would be a third person coming into the elevator, and I don't know why, but I find it hysterical and awkward, so I laugh. And then everyone in the elevator is really uncomfortable. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm a weirdo. Um, all places you have piercings on your body. This. Can you spend all your money on something stupid? I think I can. Do you know like the, the meme of Phil from Honor Family where he gets a donkey? I would probably be that one. <laughs> I would be that person for sure. Um, would you drop your phone after you just bought it? That actually happened. Do you always smile for the camera when taking pictures? Yes! And I think that everyone should smile <laughs> for the camera. Because you know what? In 10 years from now, you want to look really happy at photos when, you, when you're looking back in, instead of doing a duck face. Favorite movie? I always say that my favorite movie is The Little Man. But when you ask me about my favorite movie for like, the last couple of months or whatever, Kissing Booth. I mean, I love those stories. <laughs> favorite scents? I really like Candy from Prada. That's my favorite one. The sweeter, the better, and this just smells like caramel, so... <laughs> I love that. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have two older brothers. They are four and eight years older than me. Uh, what's your eye color? Well, this is debatable. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought green and then people would say that I would have like a grayish eye color. Do you see my eyes? I always say it's a mix between blue and green. What are your hobbies? My hobbies, number one, singing, music, um, yes, I mean I love it to death. And I also love reading, right now I'm reading Harry Potter, um, I love writing like poems and stuff. I, I love the more creative kind of things, I guess. Computer or television? Computer. Because you can watch television on your computer. Uh, what do people like you for? I think people like me for being me. I think I'm kind of stubborn and I always want to do what I want and not what everyone is doing. So I'm, I'm, I always try to be me. What are your plans for the future? My plans for the future are really making singing work. So in the most ideal way, I would have a record deal and you get to perform in all those big venues and you get to do a tour all over the world. I mean, I dream big. You always have to sing. Like, if, if, if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. So I always go for the best option and I dream really big. So. Yeah, that's definitely in my future plans and I'm gonna work my butt off for that and it's gonna happen. So I don't know when, but it's, it's definitely gonna happen. I'm sure of it. If you could change anything in your life, what would you change? I wouldn't change a thing. Trust me, of course there would be things that I would perhaps want to change. The biggest example is I have tinnitus. So I have beeping sounds in my ears and I've had that for five years now. Especially with singing and everything in music, that's, that's hard, it's difficult. But I wouldn't want to change anything in my life, so also not that. Because I truly believe that everything that happens in your life that kind of molds you and shapes you and who you are and I'm happy with the way I am and for me my ears, everything is just an extra motivation because even though like music, the, the love of my life, music, um, got me tinnitus, I still, with all my heart, want to have a career in music. So that's just that just shows how motivated I am and so I wouldn't want to change anything because, I mean, this is me 
and I'm okay with the way I am. Okay, I think this was my Q&A. I hope you guys liked it and got to know me a bit better. Um, if you have other questions... Oh, I, I've never said this before. This way. Leave it in the comment section below. For those of you watching this and uh, that haven't ever seen my covers, I would love it if you would check those out. And for those of you watching this and um, have already seen a lot of my covers, ah, oh my god, I love you guys. Honestly, I'm so grateful. It's insane. I mean, you guys don't know me and I don't know you, but the fact that you are willing to leave a thumbs up on videos or just watch the videos and, and leave a lovely comment, I mean, really, it means a lot. And I'm not taking it for granted. It's, it's amazing. It's, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm so grateful. So, um, thank you for that. And um, I hope you guys have a lovely, amazing day. I guess this is the part where I say bye. So, bye! <laughs> that was really dorky, but I mean, bye!